Hey Jacko, today I'll show you how to make a video black and white easily, then select an object, subject or another feature, mask it out and change the color to make it pop out. But how the end result will look like will depend on the footage that you use and how much time you spend on it. Now let's get digital. Now I will show you both methods how to do this, the one with the studio version is easier and quicker, but the results that you get by doing it manually can also be better. And I'll show you both ways. With the clip selected, go into the color page. Now the easiest way to make the video black and white is go to here, color wheels, and change the saturation to zero. If you don't like the look that you got, you can also adjust the shadows and highlights. And you could also adjust the offset. It does change a little bit, but you can then also go back to HDR and adjust the exposure in the light, the shadows, the dark, and obviously the global. So now that we have the video as black and white, what do you want to do? Well, first off, we need another node. I'll click on this one and hold Alt P. This makes a parallel node. So this one is black and white. And this one is still a colored version. If I disconnect this one, you can see it. So now what I want to do is in this node, I will go to Magic Mask, simply draw over it. Now I don't see anything. So I'll click here and I see the selection. So it selected the left part, I'll make another one. So this is pretty much selected. And just make sure that you're at the beginning when you do this. I will now track forward. So the whole object gets selected throughout the whole clip. This is now done. I can disable the preview. And with this node still selected, I can maybe go to hue and change the color. Now I can use the wheels like the global one, but as you can see, this also affects the keys. So if you don't want them to be white, that's okay, otherwise use these values scarcely. If you want to make this really pop out, we could maybe also go to effects. And let's see, glow, let's add some glow to this. So actually I will delete it, make a serial node of this one, so select it, Alt S. And because this has a mask, I'll connect the mask to here, so we only have the keyboard selected. I'll add the glow to this one, so now only the keyboard is affected. Now we can adjust the spread and we got the white keys back. So just a tiny amount of the spread makes this stand out a lot more. And if I go back and change the color, so this issue is still the same with the global values, but I can more easily change the hue. So this was an easy example because the object was big. Let's go with a small example and I'll just cut the video. So here we'll have a ring. So at this point, and maybe this is enough. Go to the color page. So again, at this point, I'll go to magic mask make the selection, let's see how it looks like. And as you can see, this item is so small that the selection is too big. So this is the downside of Magic Mask. Ideally, you would do this with a polygon manually. And I'll show you how to do that in the next example. And also, as you could see, the mask was easily lost at this point. So you can make multiple selections like that, but all of them will be too big. Now you have some options to adjust the selection, but it just won't be as nice. So now let me go to the last example. I'll also make it a bit shorter. I also have to scale up the video to get rid of the lines. And I just want the video to end at this point. So go to the color page. Now, if I go with Magic Mask again, 
Previously, I've been using the object mask. You also have the person mask. And you can select features. If we take a look at them, we have some of them. In this case, I could use face, but it's not really what I want. I just want the lips. I could use maybe clothing top. Select this one. And it selected everything. And maybe I just want the outer section. So definitely not the best selection. Let me delete all of them. And if I try this with the lips, since this is what I wanted, it selects the whole person, which is good, because this is a person mask. So I would have to switch back to object mask. Let's see, the bottom one is fairly decent. And as you can also see, if you make a stroke and you don't hold long enough, you only make a dot, you should delete the dots. So that's a mask, but it's not a good one. Let me just see how it will look like. It immediately lost the bottom section. So this is no good. So let's make a manual mask. So to make a manual mask, you'll go to the window. You'll want to select the pen tool, go to the beginning of the clip and make a mask. You can always adjust the points and the handles at a later time. So I'll just make a quick selection and adjust the points once this is done, so I can zoom in. If you hold control, you can adjust individual handles. Otherwise, you adjust both handles at the same time. Now the mask is done. And if I move the clip, the mask stays in place. We need to fix that, so the mask also moves. And we'll do that with tracking. Now because this mask was done manually, it will also move. It means that it can stay the same for the whole clip. So we'll choose frame, and then we can track forward. And we'll see how this will go. So we have some issues at the end, as you can see. So let's take a look when this starts falling apart. Maybe at this point, we do need to make some adjustments. Now, if you have to make adjustments like this, spend as much time as you need to make the mask look nice. And also why I've selected the frame and not the clip when I've done the tracking. Now, because I'm moving the points, if the clip was selected, then the mask would be changed throughout the whole clip. So this would be actually also the mask at the beginning, which would be off. So with the mask fixed, let's see how it looks like. Looks good enough, except at the end. That should do it. If you don't want to see the window, you can also come here and disable the power window. So select off. And now we can also adjust the hue to change the color. Now this can be a bit sharp as you can see on the edges. So we can go to the power window and adjust the softness. And the softness can also be set to inside and outside. So now we have the lips, but I also want this video to be black and white. So Alt P. In this video, we'll adjust the saturation to zero, and we can also adjust the shadows and the highlights. But like before, I'll go to this node, Alt S, to make a serial node. You could also right click, add a node, and select from the list. And in this node, I'll add glow, and we also have to connect the mask, so it only affects the lips. So in this case, I may need to adjust the shine threshold and then I can adjust the spread to get the glow to the lips. And we need to soften them just a bit more. 
So I have adjusted the softness before, but I guess I made some changes. And now if you don't like the color, simply go to hue and change it. And then change the values of the glow. Now that's how you can simply make a video of black and white and pop out a subject, object or any other section of it and change its color. Now you can do this with magic mask if you have the studio version, which can be quite easy to do, but this will depend on the video that you have and the selection that you want to make. Otherwise, if you have the free version and you can also get better results, depending on how much time you spend on it, is by using a custom shape or one of these pre-made shapes. And you also have the gradient if you need to adjust the selections. And if you found this video helpful, you know what to do. I'm Simon and in next time Jackals, keep it digital.